we're going to talk about the for loop and the for loop nest nested loop as well just like we did with the if um, conditions we did a, a nested if condition as well so we'll do that the same with, with the for loop we'll start with an example like we, like we said we start with includes and then the main and this time we're going to declare a variable i which will act as a counter so we're going to start with i equals zero so we're giving it the value zero so that's the starting point and then we'll put the condition in in the center here we say i as long as i is less than three and then we, we, we start incrementing by one so we're adding one to the i every time the loop goes round. Now we open up the the, the statement the loop, and we're going to print printf for loop index. Okay, number, and we're going to make it an integer value, which we said is percent d, isn't it? We we'll start a new line every time and now we just print the value of i okay that's done it's a very simple program all we're doing here we're starting the the counter i at zero and while the count while i is less than three it will increment by one and then it would print printf for loop index number and it would put the number here and the value of it so if it's one then it would go around again and it would put two and so on okay but it will start initially the first cycle would be zero so I would the value of I would be zero okay so now we've opened that curly brace we've closed it we've closed the the main curly brace as well so now we save so we say save as and we say for loop we save that and now let's try compiling yep it worked fine okay now we're gonna start uh, command prompt again here we go and what did we call it we said for loop it says here for loop index number zero and it goes one two and it stops at, uh, at two because the next time it goes round it goes it adds an extra one and now it's um, a three well it's it's not less than three so it stops there and it exits the program okay now we're gonna try a nested loop let's do a nested loop okay we've got the i we're gonna declare another uh, variable we're gonna put j because now we're gonna put a four within a four as well so we're gonna put two loops into one we've opened that one first let's clear that one off completely we don't need this one here so we've opened the first one and we're going to put the value of i as 1 we're going to make i less than 4 and we're going to add the increments so that, that for loop is done that one's done and now we're going to print another one here we're going to say print f we're going to say outer index percent d just like we did last time but now we're going to have an outer and an inner um, loop and they both the both conditions need to be fulfilled for the program to end and now we're going to start another for loop this time with the j j is a different counter and j is less than 4 again this time j plus plus and we're going to print the inner now. Print F. I'm going to put a tab. Inner uh, loop index number. New line. Again, the J print the value J. so that one's closed so we've opened that we haven't closed it yet we've, op we've started another for loop here 
we've opened it, we've closed it and now we have to close this one as well okay, so we've closed that as well so that's two and that should be fine so now we're going to say save as we're going to call that one for loop two save we'll try to compile build look we've got an error it's ID4 so now line seven so let's examine that so we've noticed that we forgot the semicolon here let's try it again build okay now it's done just forgot to save it let's just save quickly so now it's saved and we built so that's built finished and now let's go to the C command and this one's called for loop 2 let's see what it does okay so it says the outer loop and I spelled, misspelled loop there S L O P P. Hmm, strange. Okay, index number one, and it's got the inner one, and it runs the inner one three times. As long as it's less than four, it keeps running and it stops. And now it starts to go back to the outer one again, and it runs the second cycle, and it goes one, two, three again, and the third cycle, and it goes one, two, three, and finally, it's fulfilled the both loops, and it exits. So that's a very simple um, for loop, uh, nested for loop there.